Are you trying to find the mass percents of copper, oxygen, and hydrogen in copper to hydroxide? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. I'm going to teach you how to do that. First, we're going to find the mass, and then we're going to find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have copper, we have oxygen, and we have hydrogen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. So that's where the subscripts come into play. So if there's nothing written at the bottom of, let's say, copper, there is an invisible one there. And uh, that means that there's one carbon. And oxygen here, same thing. There's a one at the bottom. Uh, there's a subscript there. Uh, but we don't just have one oxygen. We have one oxygen in the hydroxide polyatomic anion, but we have two of those anions, and therefore we should have two oxygens. An easier way to do it is take the subscript there and just multiply it by the outer subscript. So inner subscript times outer subscript. There's going to be two oxygens. Same thing for hydrogen. There's a one here, but there's an outer subscript. So just multiply those two numbers together, and that means two hydrogen. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's copper's mass, 63.55, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1.01. So those are the values we're going to plug in. So this is 63.55, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1.01. Then to find the total mass of the element in the particular compound, we just simply multiply the row on a cross. So the total mass of copper here is going to be 63.55. The total mass of oxygen is going to be 32. The total mass of hydrogen is then 2.02. .02. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, now just simply add up all the individual total masses of each element. And that works out to be 97.57. And that's the first step, right, to find the total mass. So that's just what we've done. Now I'm going to add a column to this table, and the finding the percents here is going to be easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, copper here, we're going to take the total mass of the copper divided by the total mass of the compound. So now all you need to do is look at this column. So it's going to be 63 0.55 divided by 97.57. Take that value, multiply it by 100, and that's going to be then the percent of copper, right? So that's going to work out to be roughly 65, 65.13 percent. And that's the percentage of copper in copper 2 hydroxide. Next is the oxygen. Take the total mass of that oxygen, which is 32, divide that by then the total mass of the compound, 97.57, multiply that by 100, and the total percent now of oxygen here is going to be 32, 32. I guess if we rounded it properly, right, it would be 8, 0. All right, so that takes care of that. And then, considering the last one, a hydrogen, we're going to take 2.02 .02 over the 97.57, times that by 100. This is a simple percent calculation, by the way, part over whole times 100. And then it works out to be roughly about 2.07 uh, or so, right, percent. And I'm only going to go out to two decimal places here. I don't really care about sig figs because, quite honestly, who does? except when your professor takes off 57 points on the test and you're left with a 43. Uh, anyway, this should add up to 100, but don't worry, you got 100 on this question. So that should hopefully, you know, make you feel better. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to find the percent composition of each element there inside of copper 2 hydroxide. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.